Hey, it's Brick Garden. We're going to be looking at another discontinued Lego set. And this one falls in the category of decent themes from terrible movies. And what I mean by that is, the, as far as I know, this movie was horrible. The Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Uh, but there were some pretty interesting things in some of these sets. And this is going to be set 7569, The Desert Attack. No, actually, it's The Desert Attack. And it's got four minifigures, a couple of animals, and not much else. Uh, it's kind of like a battle pack for Prince of Persia. And I don't know anything about the movie. Although, I think that's Rubric right there, the main character. Alright, so, uh, let's look at what you get with this set. So this is the main character, Dastin. He's a Dastinly dude. And you can put his uh, little swordy things back there. It says Dastin Scabbard on the... Uh, Bricklink inventory. I have no idea what that means. But this this is a critical uh, minifigure. Uh, there's a guy... Where'd you see that guy who did the Bill and Ted minifigure? Huh? That guy that did the Bill and Ted minifigure. Oh, I saw it on uh, uh, Flickr. Flickr. Some guy on Flickr. We have to look him up. Use these pants for Ted. I can relate almost anything to Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So... The little red piece hanging down there and the little bit of white showing. I think it works. I mean, I'm sure that, I mean, there's a little bit more going on, but it's not bad uh, for making Ted. What do you think, Ted? This is the claw assassin. It's gaze at. No, wait a minute. No, this is C Tim. C Tim. <laughs> he doesn't have a double sided head. You forgot me. I have a double sided head. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, Dastin had a double-sided head. A uh, little bit of back printing going on there, but he is the Claw Assassin. This is the Hatchet Assassin. <laughs> this is Gay Zab. He's got like a patch on his eye there. Oops. I need to get the little minifigure turntable thing going. We're back to BBIs again. And then, of course, the skeleton. Just your standard head skeleton. But we also get this uh, really cool horse with all this printing on it. This is Dastin's horse thingy. And you get a scorpion and a snake and a bush. So with the horses, just like in the early days of horses, you could take the the rider out and just put that piece in there but i kind of wish they'd made a printed piece here uh that would so it would match this that would have been really cool if they'd done that but it would have been more money but i think you're mostly going to leave it like that anyway and put dastin in there he's the one that should be in there not the skeleton and then here's everything else you got some little spear thingies going on you got the secret compartment to hide the jewels i'm sure that has something to do with the movie uh, but that's not much going on there. After all, this is just kind of like a battle pack. All right, so like I said, I don't know a lot about the movie because I never saw it. I just heard it was really bad and it was a bomb. But that's what you get with the set. So it's a good value, probably. I don't remember, know what the retail price, but having four minifigures, a horse, and some animals. A uh, nice little battle pack. Of course, the most important feature is the Ted Theodore <laughs> Logan pants. I'm sorry, I had to mention it. So I thought I'd show you one of the... This actually isn't the smallest set. We have the, This set here, uh, 2017, is the smallest set. This is one of the Brickmaster exclusives. Uh, there's a sealed copy of this one. And the other sets in the theme are the ostrich race, which is pretty cool because it has the ostriches. Uh, the fight for da the dagger is pretty cool because it's got a little market and it's got this uh, camel and this Princess Leia looking person there. And then you got this Quest Against Time, which is actually a pretty cool set. Is our early uh, version of Ming the Merciless there. And then you got the Battle of Alamont, which actually has a lot of cool brick pieces. So let me know if you think that this year I should open these up and build them. I've never, oh, it's also got a camel in Mace Windu. Um, so yeah, it's a good thing. I also have the magnet set somewhere in the basement. Uh, to complete out the theme. There's six sets, a magnet set, and then there's also a Duplo promotional brick. They did make a, 
there was a store model build, but I don't know. That thing seems to be pretty rare of uh, Destin. And there may be a couple other random, some keychains and things like that. But not a, a, a very extensive theme, but one of those themes. And tell me if you agree with me, the, the sets and what you get in the sets is actually better than the movie. <laughs> Let me know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.